going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And welcome to another installment in my Celebrating Disney series where each week I review and celebrate all things Disney, animated or live action under the main Disney banner. And in this week's review, a live action review, I'll be reviewing the classic Disney sports drama from 2000, Remember the Titans. So Remember the Titans was released in 2000. It was directed by Boaz Yakin. I'm sure I pronounced your name wrong. I'm sorry about that. And it was one of many Disney films produced by Jerry Bruckheimer. I know he produced several other Disney sports dramas and was also responsible for producing the Pirates of the Caribbean and National Treasure franchises. The film started Disney's trend of adapting real-life stories in the world of sports and making them feel-good sports movies for the whole family because of the success of Remember the Titans. And that ended up spawning other sports movies throughout the 2000s, the early 2010s, films such as Miracle, The Rookie, Glory Road, Invincible, Secretariat, and Queen of Catway, just to name a few. The only other sports drama I've reviewed on this series so far has been Miracle, a film I thought was an excellent film. I was excited to see Remember the Titans, as I had never seen that film before. This was recommended to me by a this was recommended to me by a fellow YouTuber. Shout out to Chris from Filmstocked. So what did I think of Remember the Titans? Let's find out together. So Remember the Titans is set in Alexandria, Virginia, 1971 at T.C. Williams High School when the schools were being integrated after the segregation laws came to an end. So after leading his football team to 15 winning seasons, Coach Bill Yost is demoted and replaced by Herman Boone. Tough, opinionated, is different from the beloved Yost as he could be. The two men learn to overcome their differences and turn a group of hostile young men into champions. And this movie stars Denzel Washington, Will Patton, Wood Harris, Ryan Hurst, Donald Faison, Hayden Pantier, and Ryan Gosling. So, like I said, I had never seen Remember the Titans before, and a background on me and sports films, I'm not a big sports guy. I don't follow any sports, I don't follow any athletes, sports isn't really my thing. I do like a lot of sports movies, I like a lot of them that get you pumped up, get you invested in the characters, and get you intrigued in the overall story and the stakes of the event. There's been some great sports movies, fictional, or non-fictional. My favorite sports movie of all time being Rocky, a fictional one of course. So a lot of these Disney sports dramas, they tend to be pretty familiar, pretty predictable, sometimes a little cheesy, and a lot of their films are very hit and miss. Some of the ones I've enjoyed, like I said, I dug Miracle. Secretariat is one of my favorite of their sports films. I really dug Lori Road as well. Some of the misses uh, that didn't really appeal to me that much because I thought the storytelling was either too bland or too simple or too forgettable. I wasn't that big on The Rookie. And Queen of Catway, well, an ambitious film as far as culture goes, it wasn't really one that really appealed to me either. So, remember the Titans. What did I think of this film? Not only do I think this is the best sports drama that Disney has ever made, but this is one of the definitive sports movies of all time. I am not making this up. Remember the Titans is a fantastic movie. Like this movie just utterly shocked me at how good this film was, especially on Disney sports drama standards. And I think what makes Remember the Titans such a resonant story is I think it has a very deep underlying story in the middle of it because you got this pivotal time in history where you know you had the civil rights movement, you had segregation laws being kapooey, and now they're trying to integrate all the races together in the schools, white and black. So, and you got a lot of tension going on when the schools are being integrated. A lot of people did not like that idea at first, and you got a lot of the kids 
not getting along with one another because of the color of their skin. And so, enter Herman Boone, Denzel Washington's character, the new coach of the football team, and you got his no-nonsense methods going on and trying to get the athletes to get along with one another. Whether it's integrating them all together in one bus, having them share rooms together, getting them to know one another, and then ultimately teaching them a very valuable lesson that I think if you watch this film today and you look at the life lessons of what Herman Boone in real life did to his students and athletes, then I think we get along a lot better because, yeah, I'm not trying to preach a soapbox here, but today's climate is pretty toxic. And, yeah, I think if you look at what Herman Boone did, especially some of the dialogue in this movie, it's gonna hit hard. It's really gonna hit hard. And I think if you're really looking to make a difference, I think watching a movie like Remember the Titans is actually gonna do a lot more good than bad in, as far as uh, race relations are concerned. Because this movie did a good job of showing that no matter what skin color you are, you can get along with one another and everything will be a-okay. And I really love the storytelling of Remember the Titans. I love that it focused more on the dynamic of the characters over the sport itself. While football is a big aspect of the film, what blew me away more was how the movie told its story, how the movie took a bunch of characters and made you care for each and every one of them on this football team. As much as I loved Miracle, the biggest issue I had with Miracle was I did not care for any of the team members, nor do I remember any of their names. It was just more in the focus of the coach, played by Kurt Russell. With Remember the Titans, not only did I care about Denzel Washington as the coach, but I also cared about all the team members as well. Especially Gary and Julius, the two main team members of the football team, and who have this really amazing friendship dynamic the more their characters are developed and they do bring some of the emotional crux of the movie but there's other memorable characters in there as well i really love pd who's kind of a more cowardly character in the group and then i enjoyed seeing ryan gosling in an early role he had some pretty entertaining sequences as well there's also there's also this new student from california who was in hippie culture that moves in to virginia and I, enjoy, I enjoyed his dynamic as well with the cast as well. So there's definitely a lot of good stuff with the team. I cared about almost every individual that was focused in Remember the Titans. And Denzel Washington gives a phenomenal performance in Remember the Titans. And he's given some great performances over the years, whether in playing Malcolm X in Spike Lee's iconic film or in... Tony Scott's Man on Fire, or even in just fun action films like The Equalizer. This man knows his limits as an actor, and he's definitely one of the shining talents in the movie industry. And one of his great performances is as Coach Boone in Remember the Titans. I enjoyed how no nonsense his character was. I love how determined he was in uniting the team together. I enjoy how open he was and people's opinions and I enjoy how bold his uh, experiment was in helping bring people together when so many people were hateful to one another, especially with other races. So his performance is fantastic. I enjoy a lot of the one-liners that he brings. And without this uh, Washington, I don't think this movie would be near as good because this uh, Washington is fantastic. Favorite line, you're kidding me, Petey! Also, the soundtrack in this movie is amazing. Some, whoever came up with the soundtrack for this movie clearly did their research. The soundtrack in this movie just comprised mainly of hit songs that were popular. In that time period, there's a lot of hit songs in the 60s and early 70s. And not only do they help set the Especially during some of the sporting event sequences in the film. I've never
with some of the rock films. The soundtrack from the Titans is amazing. And move over Guardians of the Galaxy. I think for the Titans is that the better some of the dialogue, some of the music score. I can see why some people would not get into this movie as much as others if cheesy sports dramas isn't really their thing, but I do think Remember the Titans checked all the boxes for me. I think there's a great story in there. I love the cast in this film. There's a lot of excellent performances in this movie, and the underlying themes of race relations and how people can get along with one another is just as resonant today. I feel like more than ever in this toxic age that we're living in. And I think it's a movie that a lot of people should just consider watching. It's such a powerful movie that definitely gets its point across. And I'd actually compare it to Zootopia, honestly. And how to actually better function as a society and how we should better get along with one another. I think both, you can learn from both Room of the Titans and also Zootopia in a lot of regards. I think this is a fantastic movie. Easily the best sports movie that Disney's ever made. And that's saying something because some of their other sports movies were hit and miss. I did love Remember the Titans. Thank you, Chris, once again for suggesting this movie to me. I had a great time watching this film. Highly enjoyed it. At the end of the day, I'm going to give Remember the Titans a 5 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 97 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Remember the Titans as part of my Celebrating Disney series where each week I review and celebrate all things Disney regardless of quality, animated or live action under the main Disney banner. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to catch up on some of my past videos in this series, I'll leave a link in the description below for a playlist where you can check out all the other reviews I've done in this series so far, whether it's my animated reviews or my live action reviews. I'm sure there's something you enjoy if you're a hardcore Disney fan, so click the link in the description below where you can see more. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos in this series. Each week on Celebrating Disney, I alternate between animated and live action reviews. My animated reviews are done in chronological order from their theatrical animated classics to the direct-to-video sequels along with Pixar. My live action reviews are more freestyle and they're prone to request. If there's any other Disney films you'd like to recommend to me in the near future, don't be shy to leave your request down in the comments below. I'll definitely take your requests under consideration and I'll definitely review them on this series at some point. Join me next week on Celebrating Disney where I'll be taking a look at my next animated review. It'll be a stop motion animated film. 
produced by Tim Burton, directed by Henry Selleck. I've already reviewed The Nightmare Before Christmas. And next week, I'll be reviewing the 1996 cult classic, James and the Giant Peach. So be on the lookout for that review coming next week. And if you've seen Remember the Titans, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!